Hi students, I am Dr. Pratipa here. Today we are going to see about the part 2 video of the atrium development. Now first part 1 we have seen the right atrium development. Part 2 we will be seeing the intraatrial septum formation. Okay, number 1 already I have told you first the thing is right atrium and so sorry atrium and the primitive atrium and the primitive ventricle is there. Here will be the cushion, endocardial cushion will be there. So we will start already full I said I have already told you entire atrium is made up of the muscular tissue ok so I have put drawn the muscles here ok the ventricle also primitive atrium and the primitive ventricle is made up of the muscular tissue now what happens I said the absorption of sinus venosus this right horn of the sinus venosus they form uh, a smooth part ok so they form a smooth part so we will draw this as a smooth part so this is a smooth part of the right atrium is formed by the absorption of right horn of the sinus venosus do not complicate so this is right horn right horn of the sinus venosus absorption of the right horn why not the left horn because the left horn uh, is obliterated ok next obliterated and the next thing is you now the formation of the intraatrial septum so I will draw the separate pickles because this musculature will confuse you. So the musculature part is called as pectinate muscle. So now I will draw the uh, diagram again. So right atrium and uh, sorry uh, atrium and the ventricle primitive atrium and the primitive ventricle. Now we will start forming the septum. Number 1 there is a septum coming from the roof of the right atrium which is coming down 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 but it will not reach the endocardial cushion. I have already told this area will have the cushion. So there is a space in this area. So this ostium, ostium means hole, opening. This ostium is called as ostium primum, ostium primum, okay primum. Number 2, because it is primarily formed, so it is called as ostium primum. In the same time, again one septum is coming from the uh, lateral part. So this here also one septum is coming. So what happens? This is primarily formed septum. So it is called as septum primum. Okay, this ostium is called as ostium primum. Second, this one is coming second, so it is called as septum secundum. So, when it is coming down, this there is a natural cell death occurs in this area. Natural cell death is called as apoptosis. So, natural cell death because uh, this fellow is coming down, so this got irritated, and there is a cell death occurs here that is called as again there is an opening for, for formed the opening is called as ostium this is ostium primum so it is called as ostium secundum so there should be only one opening so obviously this opening this septa it is coming forward and it is closed understand so the alert this opening is there that is called as say, ostium secundum ready ok now there is an opening here so what could be the name of this opening this is such a big opening so it is oval in shape so it is called as foramen oval so it is called as foramen oval so what happens this is right side and this is left side so who is in the left side your lungs are there in the left side so you, during the intrauterine life the lungs are not functioning so what happened there won't be any blood flow from the pulmonary veins into the lungs so this from the flow from here right side to the left side see look at the flow how it is it is in an oblique direction why it is in an oblique direction because to minimize the pressure it is in an oblique direction so the flow will be like this and then it has to come down and it comes down to the ventricle it will not be going to the lungs understand but once the baby is born when the external layer and uh, enters into the baby the lungs starts functioning when the lungs starts functioning what will happen the pulmonary flow will be entering here so the flow of blood will be going here uh, towards this left atrium so what happens there will be closure of these two will approximate so septum primum and the septum secundum will approximate and they will close this two openings so what happens now this time this fossa is called as fossa ovalis so this is called as fossa ovalis when it is closed both of them they closed it is called as fossa ovalis so in the next diagram okay in the next diagram i will show this okay right uh, atrium and the ventricle this is called as endocardial cushion now i have uh, drawn the septum primum and the septum secundum will be closed okay because septum secundum 
here is the ostium so it will come and close and here the force of well is, is closed by this fellow septum primum nice so this is the fossa ovalis area this is the fossa ovalis area but it is closed understand this part is called the limbus so we'll make it dark this portion is called as limbus understand okay now the fossa ovalis everything got closed this is the formation of the interatrial septum so now what are the questions will be asked in the exam is in exam you should be very careful you have told this as fossa ovalis the floor of the fossa ovalis this area is called as floor of the fossa ovalis so the floor of the fossa ovalis is formed by floor is formed by what is this septum septum primum floor is formed by septum primum and see the look at the sharp margin the limbus is formed by septum secundum so the limbus is formed by septum secundum understand so the floor is formed by this is the fossa ovalis the floor is formed by the septum primum the limbus is formed by the septum secundum that's all about this and this is the right atrium and this is the left atrium already i have told this is a smooth part of the this everything is a smooth part here you have the smooth part and here you have the rough part rough part is called as primitive atrium which contains muscles that is called musculi pectini this is the rough part okay the smooth part is the absorption of sinus venosus so the smooth part is absorption of so here only is the smooth part of the sinus venosus right smooth part so the smooth part so here you will be having the smooth part only you will be having the valve which valve i said septum sporium so the septum sporium will be attached to to the intraatrial septum understand so in our specimen what we have in the department you will be having this septum secundum in blue color in exam they will ask you why it is in blue color because you should answer this as the valve the fused part of the right and left venous valve that is called a septum sporium they will come and join with the septum secundum that's why this is colored in blue otherwise just leave it okay so this is your pectinate muscle okay so this is the rough part of the right atrium this is the smooth part of the right atrium rough part is primitive atrium and the smooth part is the uh, absorption of sinus venosus what are the things happening here in the smooth part you could see a fossa ovalis in the fossa ovalis you have the floor of the fossa ovalis and the limbus of the fossa ovalis these are all the structures you should write and what are the openings present in the uh, right atrium upper part you have the superior vena cava and the lower part you have the inferior vena cava the valve of the uh, nearby that you have the coronary sinus opening the valve of the inferior vena cava is called as eustachian valve and the valve of the coronary sinus is called as tibetian valve these two are present here all are mcqs and superior vena cava at what um, where it is formed first costal cartilage where it pierces the pericardium second costal cartilage where it enters into the right atrium third costal cartilage all these three are mcqs okay one is the formation second where it pierces the pericardium third where it enters site where it enters into the right atrium that is mcq this is pectineus muscle this is the mcq and the smooth part is formed by the absorption of right horn of the sinus venosus is the mcq and the fossa ovalis floor is formed by the septum primum is the mcq and the limbus is formed by the septum secundum is the mcq and then at the entry of the superior vena cava you have the sa node that is the mcq and here the lower part you will be having a triangular structure called triangle of koch here you will be having the av node situated and the next video i will show you the triangular koch boundaries bye